Hello friends, welcome to a new happy learning video. Did you know that for every four animals, three of them are insects? We calculate that for every human being, there are 200 million insects. We are surrounded by insects, so I think it's important to get to know them a little more. Insects are invertebrate animals that share a number of characteristics. Their body is divided into head, thorax and abdomen. They have two antennae, six legs and breathe through their trachea. From the moment they are born, insects undergo a series of body changes called metamorphosis. Most insects are oviparous and maggots are born from the eggs. As we can see in the images, they don't look anything alike their parents. They look like worms. When they grow, they enclose themselves in a cocoon they make with a substance called silk. Inside the cocoon, they undergo an incredible change in their bodies and they exit as adult insects. This metamorphosis stage is called pupa. Although, when referring to butterflies, we call it chrysalis. The large majority of insects have wings. In fact, they are the only group of invertebrates that can fly. Another shared characteristic amongst insects is that they have almost perfect vision. They have compound eyes. It's as if they had hundreds of tiny eyes in each eye, which provides excellent peripheral vision. As we said before, there are so many insects and there are also many types. There are very annoying insects like head lice, flies, or mosquitoes. Interesting insects because of their shape like stick insects or leaf insects. Beautiful ones like butterflies or dragonflies or singer insects like a grasshopper or cricket that besides from singing, is an excellent jumper. But do you know my favourite insect? It's a bee, because I love the honey they make. Some insects, like ants or bees, live in highly organised societies where they each have a job assigned. The queen ant, for example, is in charge of laying eggs. Drone ants protect the nest. And worker ants are in charge of getting food and taking care of maggots. The truth is, insects are incredible and although by their size they might seem unimportant, they are fundamental for nature's balance. For example, they are in charge, along with some birdies, of pollination. Some insects, like my beloved bees, are constantly flying from flower to flower, transporting pollen from one flower to the next fertilizing them, which makes new amazing plants come to life. The truth is, most insects, like most living things, are marvelous, don't you think? Do you know how long an ant can live? The answer is surprising because it depends on the type of ant it is and the work it does. Male ants live for a few weeks. Worker ants live for two to three years. 
and queen ants can live up to 15 years. That must be because they live like true queens. Can ants swim? Most ants can swim and are known to be very fond of water. In fact, some ants are able to live underwater for two weeks without going above water, without coming up to breathe. How many eggs can a queen ant lay per day? Queen ants are the ones in charge of laying the eggs for the colony to grow. And the truth is, is that it grows very fast because a queen ant can lay between 800 and 1,500 eggs a day. No wonder there are ants everywhere. What do ants eat? Ants are omnivorous animals. They feed on plants and the flesh of other animals, so this means they have to hunt. And the soldier ants are in charge of doing so. Although they are very small, they are very organized and hunt in groups. They are capable of hunting animals much bigger than themselves, such as this worm. Do ants have brains? Yes, and very big ones. In fact, ants are the animals with the largest brains in proportion to their bodies. And they are also super strong, capable of lifting 50 times their own weight. To be equal to an ant, if I weighed 50 kilos, I would have to be able to lift 2,500 kilos. I can't even lift a hundred. It's a good thing they are so small, because if they were our size, they would be very scary, don't you think? Goodbye friends, see you in the next Happy Learning video.